Hello there YouTubers and Facebookers, it's Jim here, Ghibli fan Jim. And uh, I want to talk today about Yokohama. I'm here in Yokohama, this is Landmark Tower. And this is the setting of the new Studio Ghibli film, Kokuriko Zakakara, from up on Poppy Hill. Now, I went to see it the day it came out, I went home, I bought a program from the cinema, a little program book, and a separate visual guide. I uh, bought those two books and I thought this will be good, I'll make a review of the film, and I used lots of positive comments. It was deleted by Studio Ghibli Inc. three days later. Um, which, you know, I don't mind if that if I imposed, infringed on copyright, so be it, that's, that's their choice. But, um, I did feel a bit disheartened by it because it was a cop, it was a review. I didn't use any uh, story spoilers, I think, but hey, whatever. Anyway, so this time, no visuals, no soundtrack, just me under a tree in Yokohama. Now, so it's set in Yokohama in 1963, and, <laughs> and uh, it's a human drama, it's a high school drama. Um, about in the year of the, the Tokyo Olympics in 1963 and um, basically the story is it's a bunch of high school kids trying to save their clubhouse from being demolished um, and it's basically I would say uh, if you think about all the Studio Ghibli films well it fits into the human drama bracket as I said and it's directed by Goro Miyazaki uh, Hayao's son. He made Tales from Earthsea, as I'm sure you know. Um, a lot better than Tales from Earthsea, that's for sure. I really feel that now he's found territory where he feels, he feels comfortable. And he's not, I don't think that sort of fantasy, fairy tale adventure thing is possibly he should just forget that and just keep to human drama. And going to stop there a little bit. Okay, sorry about that, a little obstruction there. Um, yeah, so, Goro Miyazaki, I think he's really found his feet on this film. Um, now, Studio Ghibli has released several sort of human drama, high school drama films before. I'm sure you've seen them. Um, I still prefer those, to be honest. I still think they're better. Um, the plus points to this film are the soundtrack is very charming, the backgrounds are beautifully painted as per usual, just what, what more can you expect, um, or what you wouldn't expect any less from Studio Ghibli. Animation is top notch of course, but um, again, there was still, if I had to say something constructive about it, is I couldn't help feeling that um, you've got an amazing film studio like Studio Ghibli and you make a film that could have been completely made with real people, real actors. There was nothing in the film, there was nothing spectacular about the film or fantastic about the film that you couldn't have done with real people. So it kind of feels like a missed opportunity, you know? It's like you've got you manage to find the Beatles and reform them and all you do is play chopsticks on the piano, you know, it, it really felt like that. And just for the record, I went with Japanese people and I was expecting them to say, which means, oh that was good, that was interesting, but they didn't. They said they were disappointed. And I was surprised by that because I thought, this is a film made by a Japanese set in Japan, usually that type of thing is a big hit. Um, but actually they said the same thing, it could have been done with live action, people just as easily, why animate it, and um, they were disappointed. So I was surprised by that. I think I went in with low expectations and I wasn't so disappointed, but I wasn't that entertained as much as I would be if I'd seen Spirited Away or, or you know something else of that standard. But that's just me, that's just my opinion, that's just the type of film I like. I like the big magical adventures, this isn't, this is a human drama, high school drama, but if you like high school dramas and all that, and all that stuff, I'm sure you'll like this film. 
And if you're a Die Hard Ghibli fan, you're going to love it, come what may. If you're not a Die Hard Ghibli fan, I'm not sure. But um, not a bad film. It's a quaint film, so relaxing. Maybe it's something that you'd watch on a rainy Sunday afternoon. And that's about, that's about it for me. I'm going to go and eat some uh, beautiful Chinese food in Chinatown. And I'll catch you later. Don't forget to keep an eye on Jim's cartoon tube. I'm going to be drawing more Kokoriko, Zakakara and other Studio Ghibli films later on in the series. And I sound like a top gear presenter. I'll see you next time. See you.